Welcome. So this video is going to build very directly on a previous video slash quick guide on WP Shout. Um, so if you've not seen the video about making a widget and you haven't gotten that far, you may want to go watch that one first. If you have, we've got this code on the right, which came from the last quick guide where we've made a widget that is showing just a basic, um, it says quick guide widget as its title. And then we've got this hello world text here. What we want to do in this video is we're going to actually show a random um, post from our site in this widget. Um, and then we're going to make the title of our widget that post title and the body of the widget uh, the excerpt from that post. So to do that, we need to do what's called, we, what people will tell you to make a new WP query. And that's what we're going to do. Um, I've already gotten the uh, codex page open here for WP query. It's codex.wordpress.org slash class reference slash WP query. Um, you can Google for it very quickly. And I'm just going to paste in this code right here that was labeled on said page to show a random post. So what WP query is, it's a way to fetch new data from the WordPress database. So it's a way to get your content out of your database, basically. Um, and so I have args, which is just an array of arguments that we pass into the constructor of this object. Um, the details of that are a little beyond the scope of this quick guide, but basically we're going to order them by random, which is a thing you do in a database where it just says just resort this in a random way. And then we're going to pull one item back. So that's what the post per pages is for. So with that, once you've used a WP query, you essentially want to go find the loop. Um, yikes, um, which is a way it's basically what you'll do in all your theme files as well. Um, I'm pretty sure there's an example on this page and that's what I was trying to get to. So you just have this while query have post the post, and then you use things and you make sure you call WP reset post data. That is basically what word people say when they talk about the loop in WordPress. So we're going to say while query. And that name is not like uh, uh, set. It's just that this has to reflect this. While query have posts. Um, query the post. And what the post does is it just makes everything available. Um, so you can then start to use the title and so on. And then I'm going to just pull in all of this stuff. So what would happen if we had many different uh, posts that came back is we would actually show multiple different instance in instant widgets, um, widget markup, which is fine because we're only going to show one here. And then you always end a WP quest custom query with WP reset post data. And the reason to do this is basically that there's global state. Um, which you don't have to understand what that means. Basically, WordPress sets something up for you that affects the whole environment. And then you need to unset that up because you're done. It's basically cleaning up after yourself, you know, good practice. So basically what we're going to do is before title, we're going to replace this whole bit, which was putting in the quick guide widget with uh, get the title because we're still going to be concatenating a string. Actually, I take that back. What I'm going to do is uh, change this so it's multiple lines. So I'm going to make echo before title, and then I'm going to just call the title. And so we're going to keep the hello world. But if I refresh my page now, I should see a bunch of warnings because I did something wrong, which is that I've got two things called args. So I'm going to just call this one qargs for the query the issue with when you copy and paste code. So now I've got one called paper clips and I'm pretty sure I've got a post called that imageless post. I know I've got because it matches the recent post widget. All right. So I know that's working and then I'm going to replace this bit right here with the content. Actually, I'm going to replace it with echo get the content. If you've ever done theming with WordPress, you may already recognize what I'm doing, but echoing get the content is the same as the content. So I'm going to just do that because we've used the title already. So I'm just showing that distinction. And so then I'm seeing the entire content, which is far too much. So I'm going to replace that with get the excerpt, which will work the same, 
but is generally going to be limited to an excerpt length that is set on your site. I think it defaults to something like 50 words. And we've got a continue reading link. So this is kind of what I wanted. It's a little silly, but it does show how you can add a WP query into a widget, which is a very useful thing to do, even if this is the best example I could come up with. Hope that's helpful.